So this is a video on fluid dynamics when we consider the fluid motion as well as the forces causing the motion. First we'll see the dynamics of inviscid flows where viscosity is not considered or the viscous effects are very small. This is where viscous effects are insignificant and can be neglected. Without considering the viscous forces, the resulting equations of motion are called as Euler's equations of motion. If you apply Newton's law of motion, we get summation f equals to ma, mass times acceleration. And summation f means the combined forces. So we consider two forces here. One is body force which is due to the gravity and other is pressure force. And the acceleration we'll be using is Eulerian acceleration. Which you should know, there are two acceleration, one is Lagrangian and other is Eulerian. In general fluid mechanics we use Eulerian approach. We'll derive first the Euler's equation of motion in 3D Cartesian coordinate. In 3D rectangular Cartesian form. So let's define coordinate axis x, y and z and let's have an element having length dx in x direction, dy in y direction and dz in z direction. Let's assume pressure is acting on x direction as px ax because it's a force. So if px is a pressure, px ax will be the force. So px ax is the force on the left side of the element and towards the right side in x direction the force will be, the pressure force will be px ax plus dou by dou x of px ax dx. The same pressure force plus some changes. As it is a pressure force, it is acting towards the element. From this we can write, so let's take AX. It is the area through which flow is flowing in X direction. And it is given as this area. It is dy dz. AY will be this area. And it will be dx dz. And we can write AZ. The area through which flow in Z direction will flow. It is this. So it is az equals to dx dy and we can write volume as dx dy dz. Let's assume bx, by and bz be the body force per unit mass in x, y, z direction respectively. So in body force we can consider gravity forces, the electromagnetic forces, every forces which acts on the whole mass, whole body. In x direction we can write summation f x equals to mass times acceleration in x which is ax. Summation fx. Let's solve for summation fx first. So summation fx equals to px ax in the x direction. As the pressure which is acting on the right hand side of the element, it is acting towards left. So it will be minus px ax plus dou by dou x of px ax dx plus body force. As we have defined body force bx to be force per unit mass. So the force will be bx multiplied by mass which is rho times volume. After simplifying we get minus dou by dou x of px d by dz dx because ax is d by dz plus bx rho times volume. And finally we get summation fx equals to minus dou px by dou x times volume because d by dz dx is volume and bx rho volume. Rho is density here. And now max mass times acceleration as we know mass is rho v and we can write max as rho v times u dou by dou x of u plus v dou by dou y of u plus w dou by dou z of u plus dou by dou t of u. Here this rho times volume is mass and this whole term the four terms of acceleration is acceleration in x direction which comprises of convective plus local acceleration. So after combining this in Newton's law and simplifying for volume because in each term we have volume so it may be cancelled out. So we get minus dou p x by dou x plus b x times density equals to density times u dou by dou x of u plus v dou by dou y of u plus w dou by dou z of u plus dou by dou t of u. And if you divide by density, we get minus 1 by rho dou by dou x of px plus bx equals to the acceleration which is u dou u by dou x plus v dou u by dou y plus w dou u by dou z plus dou u by dou t. This is Euler's equation of motion along x direction. 
So similarly, in y and z direction, we can get minus 1 by rho dou p y by dou y plus b y equals to u dou v by dou x plus v dou v by dou y plus w dou v by dou z plus dou v by dou t. And in z direction, minus 1 by rho dou p z by dou z plus b z equals to u dou w by dou x plus v dou w by dou y plus w dou w by dou z plus dou w by dou t. These are the Euler's equation of motion in 3D Cartesian form. And this we have derived using differential approach.